Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and today we'll be briefing you on SCP-017. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. Item number SCP-017, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-017 is contained in an acrylic glass cage 100 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters, centrally suspended in a concrete room measuring 6 meters by 6 meters by 4 meters. Attached to the walls, ceiling, and floor of the room are high-intensity arc lamps, spotlights pointed directly at the acrylic cage to ensure that SCP-017 is constantly exposed to light from every angle. Personnel assigned to the SCP-017 control room are to monitor the functionality of the spotlights and the emergency generator system and call for maintenance immediately upon knowledge of a burnt-out lamp or an issue with the generator. The only circumstance under which personnel are allowed entrance is to replace lamps. Personnel entering the room are required to wear the designated full-body reflective suits and must be cautioned not to step in front of functional spotlights. Description. SCP-017 is a humanoid figure approximately 80 centimeters in height, anatomically similar to a small child, but with no discernible identifying features. SCP-017 seems composed of a shadowy, smoke-like shroud. No attempt to find any object beneath the shroud has been successful, but the possibility has not been ruled out. SCP-017's reaction to shadows cast upon it is immediate and swift. SCP-017 leaps at the object casting the shadow and completely encloses it in its shroud, whereupon it returns to its normal size, leaving no trace of the object behind. Additional notes. Personnel with beta clearance or higher should also see document number 017-1. And that document will be included with your packet, uh, assuming you do have the clearance. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-017. Short but sweet. Um, yeah, this one is mostly about containments. I got to be very, very careful with researching this one. And, well, remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.